Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you for holding this hearing. Uh, I truly appreciate it. You know, when growing up, I learned about the Declaration of Independence, and it said that there was a self-evident truth that each and every one of us is equal. And now, 236 years after the passage of the Declaration of Independence, and 50 years after Congress passed the Equal Pay Act of 1963, we are still far, far behind, and it shocks me. It shocks me that we could be paid 77 cents for every dollar that a man earns, and that uh, we are only increasing that rate by an abysmal rate of ha a half cent a year. It's unbelievable. And I'd like to ask each one of you, what does that say to you about our national priorities, and what can women do to change this? <laughs> I'm not even sure where to go where it comes to priorities. <laughs> I, we make up half the nation. We, we raise the children. We change the world. If it made sense to me, I probably wouldn't be here fighting it. You know, it's, it's immoral. It's should be illegal. Um, it's unconscionable. And I think um, what happens uh, oftentimes is that people appeal to your sense of community or your, um, to try to say, take one for the team, sacrifice a little, because we know that that's what women do. And unfortunately, oftentimes it's done to our detriment. Um, I'll let you and, and I would agree with that. You know, so many times um, you're told things like, well, you know, you're still new. You need to earn it. Here's the steps you can take. You know, the, the most recent conversation I had with the manager, my answer was, here are the steps you can take to try and achieve that. It was not a discussion of why others have achieved that by doing the same thing I've done, it was here's what you can do. And you know, you're part of this team, you're part of this family. We do this for the, for the good of the company and the good of our patients. But at the end of the day, we all do what we do for a paycheck as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, to be paid less than a man for doing the same job is, it's irresponsible, number one. It's very irresponsible, and it is unconscionable. You know, I think, I think the other thing is, you know, look at my age when I started working for Novartis. I was 25 years old. I had no idea the world could be so harsh. Mm -hmm. You know, I thought we lived in a, a modern time when things like that did not happen. You take it for granted. We live in the United States. What, what do you mean they can pay a man more? for doing the same job. Absolutely not. That would be um, archaic. But it happened. And so it takes you a little bit of time to think, is the, you know, you first think, is this really happening? Is this what I'm seeing? You start trying to justify, well, maybe he did something that I didn't do that I don't know about. But when you start looking at it with an objective eye, as I was able to do, because I knew very well everything that this man who was making more than I was making. I knew everything he did at work and at home. <laughs> and, and so I knew. I knew that that change, that, that, that disparity in pay was not based on anything real. It was not based on anything other than the fact that they wanted him to make more because of his gender. And outside of the pay issue, it's just the the crazy making that it does to you when you're sitting at home trying to evaluate why this is the case when it's so wrong. It does consume a lot of your energy, a lot of your thoughts, a lot of your conscience. I mean, you're just so fully invested in the whys and, and what have I not done and what could I do? Because then they put those thoughts in your head. It's never their issue. It's always something that you could do better or something you need to do to earn that equal pay. And it really does wreak havoc on, on your, your person. 